Hello. Today we're going to be exploring a very important topic in mathematics, and it's going to be solving linear equations, but not just solving linear equations, it's just solving equations in general. And one thing that is very important to keep in mind when you're solving equations is what you do on one side of an equation, you do on the other side of an equation. And before I start solving any type of equation in my class, I tell my students a story. Uh, whether or not the story is fictitious or true, I let the, student decide, the students decide on. But I think it exercises the point on what I really want to talk about. So, I remember when I was, I'm going to say four or five years old, in the grand old town of Kenosha, Wisconsin. And I was playing on a teeter-totter. If you're not familiar with a teeter-totter, it's a seesaw. You know, two kids play on it, they jump up and down. The weight that they use distributes equally. As long as you play with somebody who's of your own height and size, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, when you play with somebody who tends to be a little bit heavier than you, teeter-totter is not as efficient or as fun as it can be. So, I remember when I was a boy of four years old, as you can see, I've got spiked hair. You probably can't see it from here, but I'm smiling. And I'm playing with this beautiful girl named Sherry. At least I believe that was her name. And we were laughing and having fun. It was a great game, and our teeter-totter was balanced. We were just moving up and down. But life isn't always so kind, and Sherry had this sister. Maybe she was nine or ten years old, but to me she looked like she was seven feet. And she decides to come in and interrupt our fantastic game of you know, playing on a teeter-totter, so I'm going to draw Sherry's sister really quickly. To me, she was that big in comparison. Of course, she was an angry girl, I can't figure out why, but I was happy playing on the teeter-totter until she came along. So she pushes her sister off, and she plays on the teeter-totter with me, or actually I should say she bullies me. And when she's doing that, She's moving the teeter-totter. It's no longer balanced. What it happens is it skews to one side. And I'm all the way up in the air, and you know she's pressing down on the teeter-totter. And it's no longer fun. In fact, I just want to get down. And that's pretty much it. And this is when I started learning about equations, when I was four or five years old, the concept of an equation. And she uh, agrees to let me down, and she releases weight. And what happens is you know, she lets me down, and I don't feel so bad anymore. But right when I'm about to get off, right when my face is where I would put my uh, rear end, she decides to push it up again, knocking me on the ground. It wasn't really a fun experience, but it really did give me an understanding of solving equations, if you'll believe that. What you do on one side of an equation, you have to do on the other in order to keep it balanced, in order to solve it properly. And that's what you've got to keep in mind whenever you solve equations. And I'm not just talking about linear equations, I'm talking about equations that you'll see later on quadratic, logarithmic, square root, etc. What you do on one side of an equation, you have to do on the other. And as long as you keep that perspective in mind, you can always end up solving an equation. With that said, we're going to start pretty soon with some examples. Until then, though, have a great day. Goodbye.